Hello, it's morning prayer for Friday, March 10th, 2023. And I'm Pastor Keith in Christ Lutheran. I'm up at the church office here for the morning prayer here this Friday. And uh, the reading is from Ephesians, Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And it's the second chapter. And it starts at the 11th through the 22nd verse, verses. And it's among the unity of the church, being one in Christ, even in the midst of diversity. Paul writes, So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise having no hope without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Jesus Christ himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. Again, we are one in Christ. He has broken down the dividing walls of hostility. He's not building a wall. He's tearing them down. And we live not by commandments and ordinances, not by circumcision or uncircumcision, that is, uh, the Jewish faith, uh, the boys were all circumcised at uh, the bris, right? And then um, the Gentiles were un the uncircumcised, those, those barbarians. And Paul is saying, as, the, as Christianity spreads out into the Gentile, that is the non-Jewish world, he's saying, uh, uh, you're connected to Christ just as, just as intimately and deeply as Jewish Christians. And while there's distinctions, maybe, they aren't what really matters. <sighs> Seems to me in our divided world, uh, even a divided Christian world, uh, meditating, reflecting on these verses is a wise thing for us to do and to pray for the unity of the church. Here we go. E pule kako. Almighty God, grant to your church, your Holy Spirit, and the wisdom which comes down from heaven, that your word may not be bound, but have free course and be preached to the joy and edifying of all Christ's holy people, that in steadfast faith we may serve you in unity and in the confession of your name abide to the end. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who brings us together in unity, even in the midst of diversity and difference, may that triune God order your day and your deeds in divine peace. Amen. <laughs>